thanks Sad. to th- thanks to Dave and CK for teaching me how Sad. to play how to play Bastion. <laughs> What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Yeah. Today we have a deck profile of Bastion post BTO2. If you guys don't know, Bastion just got more support. Technically, Bastion just got another rare to play in the build. Um, yes, we haven't really did a deck profile for Bastion because to be honest, we didn't think we had to do a deck profile for Bastion because it's pretty simple. But uh, this is my build. I've been playing it for, what, two, three months? And I've been winning tournaments, topping consistently, but uh, so much stacking. yeah, so much, a lot of sacking actually. Uh, now I'll show you how the sack works, but again, I'm gonna break down my build for you guys. Remember guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you guys have any questions for this build, please leave it in the comment section down below. All right, start off to do the red line. Uh, starter, it's a starter, that's all it does. Uh, grade one. Obviously, we're never going to use this boost ability because we don't play this card in the main deck. We only play, play it in the ride line. Uh, this card does nothing until you ride the grade to the top of it. When you ride the grade to the top of it, then you reveal two cards to your opponent. Superior Call a top card most likely is going to be a trigger, and it's a free card. But again, you're going to Superior Call a trigger. It happens every single time. Next, the grade two, his rear guard ability. Again, we don't care because we never use his rear guard ability. But his on red ability, when you ride a grade 3 on top of him, well, Bastion, most likely, uh, reveal 3 cards to your opponent, and you draw a card. Well, 3 cards, they have to be grade 3s. Then, finally, we have Bastion, the almighty grade 3, which is really broken. His ability is, uh, if you, I believe, yes, uh, all your grade 3s get plus 2k. On attack, it doesn't have to be his twin drive, by the way. When you Once per turn, when you reveal a grade 3, you can ditch one card from your hand and restand a, a uh, unit and give, give it plus 10k until the end of the turn. Yes, it's a free attack. Yes, you're discarding an attack for a 1 for 1, but the best part about it is, again, you're giving that unit plus 10k. So potentially, you could finish your opponent off that turn. And most of all, you're probably going to discard a grade 3 to restand a grade 3. So again, it's not that bad of a 1 for 1. Uh, it's definitely very aggressive, and that's the main point of Bastion. Bastion is just to be aggressive not to give your opponent a chance to breathe, just to keep pushing. Now for the deck, um, spoiler alert, I'm sorry guys, but I only play grade threes and four PGs and, tr and triggers. What a shocker. What a shocker. Uh, of course, we're playing three copies of Bastion. Some people are saying you don't need to play, you don't need to Persona Ride, but honestly guys, Persona Riding and Bastion is so good, especially if you have Lapisto and Fasado. Um, Yes, beforehand, I thought Lapista was terrible, but now Lapista was my favorite card. <laughs> it's an MVP. Uh, but yes, you want to Persona Ride as much as you can, no matter what, guys. This card is debatable. A lot of people are saying you don't need to play four of it. I honestly think you need to because this deck does Soul Blast a lot. Um, a lot of you guys are going to say, well, Fasado can Soul Charge, but again, a lot of people are smart enough to not let Fasado hit because the Soul Charging is definitely necessary because in this build, we do Soul Blast a lot. Uh, his ability is uh, rear guard, put into soul, give a unit plus 10k until the end of the turn. Very simple. But again, mainly use it just this is soul charge. Fasado, the main MVP, this card is so good that everyone, like I said, everyone is smart enough to not let it hit because they don't want you to soul charge. They don't want you to counter charge. Well, mainly soul charge. Overall, guys, Fasado, amazing, best card in the game. Um, potentially, he can be played in Hex Orb. I've seen him play in Hex Orb as well. Uh, and PVD, but again, Fasados, if you're gonna play Bastion, you need to play four of them, and they're kind of expensive. I think, what, 15, 16 bucks each? Oh, God, it's even worse. Lapisto, this card, I, again, at first, I thought this card was terrible, but then Dave and CK showed me the ways. This card is amazing, just the fact that when you drive check a grade three, it doesn't have to be your Vanguard's drive check, by the way, it could be her, her own drive check, and I'm going to explain why. Uh, when you drive check a trigger, Activate her ability immediately, count less two, give it plus 5k, and you can restand her. So she's restanding for free, well, not for free. She's restanding for another attack, and she gets plus 5k. Uh, the best thing I've ever done with her was when I actually had five open counter blasts, I actually had two Lupistos in one column, and I actually hit a trigger and they restored the whole column. It would have been better if you had the over trigger. Yeah, it definitely would have been better if I got the over trigger, but still, that was just broken enough. My opponent was like, wow, that actually won you the game. I was like, yes. So a piece though, definitely mandatory four of in Bastion. Another card which a lot of people are, are also saying they shouldn't play four of, and honestly, you should play four of it. Dark, uh, Dark Strain Dragon. This card, you need to see it in every game, especially if you want to finish, finish off your opponent. Uh, it makes big columns. It makes 30k, 40k columns, potentially even 45k columns if you have Aldens. 
Uh, this card is a phenomenal card. The only issue is that this card does Soul Blast two cards. And like I said, guys, in this build, we Soul Blast a lot. Next, we have four copies of Alden, the, I guess the second MVP of the deck because this card gets a plus 5k whenever it attacks. And when you restand it, it attacks again and gets another plus 5k. So technically it's getting a plus 10k by itself. Yes, you could play his on play stability, Counter Blast one, Soul Blast one, sorry, Counter Blast two, Soul Blast one, and then draw two cards. Uh, it's one of the best pot of greeds in the game, just for the fact that, again, he's a pot of greed himself and he's also a big beefy beat stick by himself. Last grade three is the order card. Um, I I like this card. I think it's terrible in certain matchups, especially against Leonard, because in, in order for this card to go fully off, you need to have one full column. You need to have four, four grade threes on board. And honestly, if you're playing against Leonard, you don't want to have a column. But overall, this is one of the best order cards I've ever seen. Just the fact that it's a one for one and it gives your Vanguard in triple drive, which is broken. And next, we have grade ones. No surprise, it's four perfect guards. You need to, I mean, we don't have shield value. So we need the perfect guards to discard a grade threes to, to, to make us live for another turn. Triggers, we're playing four, we're playing eight crit. Uh, a lot of people are going are gonna to say, why aren't you playing draw triggers? Um, honestly guys, I don't think draw triggers is the best way to go for Bastion. Just the fact that for, for Bastion, we need to push as much as we can. We need to push as fast as we can. And draw triggers, by the way, they only have 5k shield. So that's why I'm not that big of a fan of draw triggers. Four heals, pretty standard. And three of the new fronts. This card is definitely a mandatory card in Bastion because again, we don't have shield value. So we need front triggers to get that extra plus 5k shield, which makes our Vanguard a 33k guard. And of course, the last trigger is the one for Keter. This card is the nuts, especially again if you have the Pisto on board with, with, with Fasado, and if you Persona right that turn, it makes so many good plays. But again, this card is amazing with Lapisto because you can restand Lapisto uh, by herself with her with her own uh, twin drive if she if she does reveal the trigger. Yes, I know the odds of that happening is very small. is very small. But when it does happen, it should be game. This over trigger is really underrated. If you drop check it by turn one and two, then you lost the game because it doesn't do anything. Or hit it defensively. Yeah. But this this uh, over trigger is amazing. Turn three or more. But yes, guys, that is my build for Bastion. Uh, like I said, guys, it's very easy. It's not that hard to play. It's a very easy cook, cookie cutter deck. Uh, again, I've been playing it for months since over just started. And so far, I've been doing pretty well with it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below. If you guys have any recommendations, also leave it in the comment section down below. And of course, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys don't like the video, then I guess hit the dislike button. But if you do hit the dislike button, at least click the bell button, which is somewhere there. And hopefully John makes that bing noise. And yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are being safe and hope to see you guys always next time. Deuces. Deuces.